Hi, I'm Mark Cherry, creator and executive producer of Desperate Housewives. And I'm Doug Savant, actor on Desperate Housewives. We're going to end. An- I'm going to do that one more time. And we're going to answer your questions for ABC.com. Are, are we doing the whole thing again? Apparently you cleared your throat while I was introducing myself. <laughs> How has the role of Tom Scavo changed since your original conception of the pilot? The thing that was fascinating is that the way the part of Tom Scavo was originally conceived, I thought he was just going to be a guest star. Um, My original conception was that he was always away, and so that we were really following the adventures of Lynette, you know, dealing with, you know, all these children with no husband around to help her. And Doug came along, and he was so good that we decided to, uh, you know, we had to have him as a regular. And his chemistry with Felicity was fantastic, and so he acted himself into a regular spot on the show. (laughs) Can you really play bass, or did you fake it for the band? I gave them four things, four things that I could competently do in music. I come from a family of musicians. I can play the trumpet. I know I can, I play piano. I I have, uh, I, I, I have all the requisite passion to be a singer, but really none of the talent, so... That could be funny, and uh, I gave in a, a harmonica. I gave the, and they said, um, Doug, we've chosen the bass for you. And I, I, I have no, no. But you real. did go out and learn to do some stuff, right? I did. I, I, I learned to play bass well enough to be what I call a serviceable faker. Do you have any plan for the final season? And if so, what is it? Um, I do know already what my final scene is. I've already got my final scene planned out. I'm kind of like, I was inspired by J.K. Rowling, who had written the final chapter of the Harry Potter movies. I thought, Charlie, a much better question than I had ever imagined. I, I would never have guessed that you have the final scene. Yeah, like I got tableau. Is it like a tableau? Is it? A- yeah, there's a little bit of a tableau-y feeling. You know, it's 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 something that will kind of encapsulate the entire run of the show. But uh, you know, but I'm not going to tell you. That's a secret. You're going to have to wait. Have you ever been a stay-at-home dad like Tom? I have uh, been a stay-at-home dad. My wife and I are both actors, and so when my wife goes off and works, I, I do all the parenting. Uh, I do everything. I like to say I do. I am capable and have done everything that my wife does outside of nursing the children or giving birth to them. I cook. I clean. I. Uh... Do you still cook and clean now that you got a big-time Hollywood job? Yes. <laughs> okay. If you had to choose one, which scene on the whole show was the most difficult to shoot? For me, the most difficult scene that I will ever shoot will be the last scene of the last day, as then I have to say goodbye to this, which has been such an, a tremendous experience. And I thank God, even though days are long and, and the work is exhausting and tiring, I do sometimes uh, slap myself to remember that this is the greatest ride you know any writer could ever possibly be on. What, have I, what I've experienced with the phenomenon of the show you know, doesn't happen to everybody. Are there any incidents you wanted to use in a storyline that the censors deemed too outrageous? The big one that people always quote, which I guess in retrospect the censors wish they had stopped it, was Rex cries when he ejaculates. It's... And and what was so funny about that line was that I pitched that line um, to the network after they bought the pilot. I was actually giving them an example of how this show would work you know, in subsequent storylines, because the Susan Line, who's at that time running ABC, she loved the pilot, but she didn't understand how the storylines would be both soap opera-esque and then comedic. So I was saying, oh, well, we'll continue the, the marital problems. And then I, you know, I pitched that line as the end of the scene, and everyone thought that was great. And I, I and this is the funny part of this anecdote, um, the, the line got a great deal of attention. It was one of the things people were talking about the next morning in America. That was, you know, that those first few episodes when we were so hot. And I found out about two years later that Shonda Rhimes, who runs Grey's Anatomy, every time she would have a problem with the censors over a line, she would go, Rex cries when he ejaculates. And finally, I think after a year, Shonda said, the censor said, you're not allowed to say that to me anymore because the censor was getting upset. <laughs> Will Tom ever be friends with Dave again? Yeah, I don't think so. I, I think that Tom, uh, you know, that trust is, is is really blown. And I think Also, you know, he kind of whipped we... your ass at the end of the fight. So that was kind of humiliating. And I don't know that you would want to <laughs> I don't think that, that I've had a fight on the show that I've, I've, I've actually out and outright won. I've done a pretty good job beating up the kids. That's you know, true. I remember, you know, in, in the... Yeah, in, that fight with Penny was fantastic. <laughs> How are you like or unlike your character, Tom? I like to say I'm like my character in this way. We both share the same philosophy of life. Happy wife, happy life. So uh, in life, I try and make my wife happy. And, and here at Desperate Housewives, I try and make my wife happy.
I think Tom represents, although slightly buffoonish at times, <laughs> he represents a guy who's meant to be a husband and a father. And I think those qualities are very inherent in Doug himself. And that, that's something you can't really fake. I don't think you can act your way into it. And I think that's why um, the relationship works so well. Thank you so much for joining us today on ABC.com. I'm Mark Sherry, creator and executive producer of Desperate Housewives. And I'm Doug Savant, actor on Desperate Housewives. So make sure you watch Desperate Housewives this coming Sunday for an all-new episode. 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock Central. Watch the show.